Wonkabot is a 3D chocolate printer, one of the first of its kind. We're innovating in the emerging field of food printing. Hi, I'm Matt Botch. Hi, I'm Pavan Ajman. I'm Nico Paris. I'm Robbie Wedler. And this is our 549 project. Uh, it consists basically of three parts. We have a web interface, a chocolate extruder, and a 3D gantry system. So this portion is the chocolate extruder that we custom designed and built for this project. Uh, it consists of a heating mechanism that Quab will talk about in a minute and a uh, extrusion mechanism. Now the way we do extrusion is we have a stepper motor connected to a auger bit that acts as an Archimedes screw that forces the melted chocolate down through the nozzle and then out into uh, a laminate extrusion. Um, in order to melt the chocolate properly, we have four heating stages inside of our chocolate extruder. One in the tip, one in the funnel, one in the shaft, and one in the center. By using PID to control the temperature of all the stages separately, we can evenly cause the chocolate to melt and go down the shaft and be extruded out without it getting too hot or too cold. The 3-axis gantry system consists of three high-torque stepper motors that allows us to move the chocolate extrusion head in all three dimensions. The gantry is controlled by G-code, which is an industry standard, or by manual input via keyboard. The web interface accepts a 2D image, vectorizes it, converts it to G-code, which is the industry standard in machining, and sends it to the three-axis gantry system that our system uses to move the extruder around, and also includes machine codes for starting and stopping the extruder. So here's an end-to-end -end demo of our working system. Uh, we have a web interface for people to put in whatever they'd like to be printed. Uh, so for instance, we wanted to print an A. Just drag an A with the mouse. And then press the print button. And it should start to print. And there's our edge. And that was Wonkabot, 3D chocolate printer, an 18549 capstone project under Professor Priya Narasimhan.